Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about sounds and music with Pygame. So, what we want to do is add maybe some background music to our game, and then also some sounds, like especially like when we crash our car, there should be like some sort of sound that sounds like a crash. So, there's a lot of places where you can get free music, uh, either online or uh, in like sound effects, stuff like that. Uh, also, YouTube just has like an audio library that you can use to put stuff in your uh, videos. So I'm just going to use that, but just keep in mind you probably can't download this and then distribute a game with that, uh, like with this audio. So just just keep that in mind, um, especially like if you're charging for the game. So anyway, um, we're just going to use this as an example. And so for music, I mean, we can just like search around, but uh, personally. We would just, I'm just going to pick jazz, and then I just went ahead with jazz in Paris. And so we get that, and then also, I already have that. And then sounds, um, I would go uh, just type in crash, for example, that's what we're looking for. And this is what we went with, was this crash right here. Um, can't hear it very well, let me turn on my, my sound. There we go, hopefully that came through okay. So that's the other one I grabbed. Now these are in MP3 format, and Pygame does support MP3 as well as like OGG sometimes, but not the best. The best solution is to put it in a WAV format. So if you have, say, any sort of movie maker, generally also will let you convert into MP3, WAV, anything like that. Um, there's probably some sort of audio converter too if you happen to have one. Also, if you just record on your desktop, um, like a lot of like just desktop recording applications that come with your uh, computer default into wave format um, I use Sony Vegas to convert it to wave so if you have Vegas you can use that too anyway you can also just download some wave formats offline so once you have them um, you'll want them at least for the purpose of this tutorial in the same uh, in the same directory as your script Otherwise, you'll need to give the full path. We're going to assume it's in the directory of this script, which it is. So I'm not going to specify the full path. So you can basically load in these sounds anywhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load it in for uh, right here in Pygame under this Pygame in it. And for example, we can load in things like crash underscore uh, sound. And crash sound is going to equal pygame.mixer.sound. And actually, that's capital S, which is really weird. I, I don't understand why, why this is a capital S, because everything else is undercase, but sound is, is caps, and like music is undercased. I don't know. Anyway, sound. And then we'll do uh, it, this sound is crash.wave for me. So that's the sound file I have. So now we have this crash sound in, in our memory. Um, and then there's another one, for example, uh, if you want to do music, you would do something like, uh, let's just say we're going to call this, um, well with music it's a little different. So with sounds, you'll load in like 10 different sounds maybe for your game. For music, as far as I know, you, you have to like, you, you, you probably could save it to like an object or something, but for the most part music is just one thing. Now you can have like a queue of music, so you could have a different tune per level or something like that. Um, I'm not going to get into that now, so for now we're just going to load one thing into the music. Uh, and so that's going to be uh, pygame.mixer.music.load. And then we're going to load jazz.wave. Anybody has an idea on why this is specifically a capital S, but like this isn't a capital M? Or this isn't <laughs> let me know I just want to know the thinking like what I'm missing from pep 8 as why we would capitalize that anyway that loads the music but it doesn't play it no different than this loads the sound but it does not play it so where do we want the crash sound to actually occur well chances are we want that to occur uh, when we actually have a crash so we'll come down to crash and in here um, we would say we want two things right we want the the music to stop playing if it's playing so we're gonna play music in the background but if we crash we stop the music so we would do pygame dot uh, mixer dot music dot stop again it's not a capital S <laughs> and then we would want to play uh, pygame dot mixer dot capital uh, sound dot play and then what do we want to play we want to play the crash sound so here we're actually going to play it and um, 
the last thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and have um, we need to have the music playing in our game loop. So we'll come down to the game loop here, and we need to bring in the music. Bring in the music. So pygame.mixer.music.play, and then here you can put anything. Like you could put like a one, and this will play the music once, and then again once. So if you put five, it's going to play the music six times, and if you put um, negative one, it will play indefinitely. Like it'll just keep looping. So that's what we want. We just want it to loop. We're not going to make it very far anyways. This game is a slow game. But each time the game loop runs, it's going to start over the music. Um, and then when you crash, it stops it. Um, which, here. So it stops the music. Now there's another thing uh, that we'll, we might want to add, and that is in pause. So if we come to our pause function, when we pause the game, um, generally you pause because maybe someone comes in the room and asks you a question or the phone rings or whatever. You want to press pause and you probably don't want the music still playing while you've pressed pause. So we can stop the music or, or actually we can pause the music so it doesn't start over but it pauses it. So we can do pygame.mixer.music.pause and then when we're done we need to stop the pause, right? So when do we stop the pause? Well, whenever we call button, and the function this button runs is unpause. So now we need to find our unpause function, which is right here. And we global pause, and then we are turning it to pause equals false. Well, now we just do pygame.mixer.music. And it just so happens this function is also called unpause. So that just worked out. So um, so that should be it. So let's go ahead and save and run this, see, see what we get. Okay, so here's our game. Awesome. We hit go, and here comes our music. Wow, it's really loud. <laughs> okay, so we're playing. I'm going to try hit a high score here. And you crash and you die. <laughs> uh, so anyways, you guys get the point. Uh, you got the music, sound effects, and all that. Obviously, you can add a lot more sound effects. You can maybe pick a better track or something, but I thought that was actually an okay, an okay track for the game. So anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. Until next time.